Welcome back, my dear doers. Today, we're diving into the world of multi-websites. And you might wonder, why should anyone need multiple websites? Well, imagine managing different brands under one company, or targeting diverse markets with tailored content. Having separate websites makes it easier to cater to specific audiences and optimize your digital strategy effectively. In our case, we're expanding our travel agency business and no longer focusing solely on Brussels. We're also going to focus on Amsterdam, and I'm going to call it Stroopwafel, after their delicious syrup-filled waffles. Each website in Odoo can be customized with its own domain name, theme, pages, menus, languages, and even products. This flexibility allows you to maintain distinct branding and messaging across different segments of your business. So let's see this in action. Now, to create a new website in Odoo, we'll just go to our settings, and then we will click on new website over here. So we'll specify the website name, Stroopwafel. We will st specify the website domain, stroopwafel.nl. And we can customize the language uh, options if needed, and then we can just create it. Now it's building our websites. Okay, so once created, we can start building our new website. And all the Odoo apps we installed, installed for our first website remain available, as we use the same database for both websites. So anything I change here will have no impact on the other website and vice versa. For example, let's create a new page. So I'll go here in new and I will create a services page. There you go, let's create it. And now we'll drag and drop a form. There you go. And here I want to make sure that the email address is different from the forms on our other website. As visitors filling in this form will want to contact the Amsterdam branch and not the Brussels one. So it will be info at stroopwafel, written in Dutch, dot nl. So if you have any other Odoo app installed, such as CRM or Helpdesk, for example, when you can, you can di direct the answers of this form directly to where you want in your database. So there you go, none of these pages will be shown on our other website. To switch from one site to the other, we can just select the website we want over here on top. We have Stroopwafel and we have Brussels Sprout. If I go here, I am on the other website. And now we have two distinct websites manageable from the same database. Now most settings in Odoo are website specific. So if you configure anything in our settings, it will only impact the website that is shown on top of it, here. We can switch between the website settings by selecting one or the other. If I go on Stroopwafel, then we see that the settings change and they are sp settings specific to Stroopwafel. Now, as we saw earlier, changes made to the front end only concern a specific website, but records created from the back end are accessible across all websites by default. You can manage content availability by adjusting the website field in individual records like products or forum posts. For example, if you have an e-commerce and, and you go to your products, here for example, and we'll take a product, then all of these records, well, they are accessible whether you're on one website or the other, so you don't have to upload everything again. Here, we can decide when we go to sales if we want to sell this product on just one website or on the other or on both of them by leaving the field blank. We can also restrict price lists or categories, um, or payment providers. And this allows you to lo localize your e-commerce strategy and pricing based on the market needs. Now let's take a look at the pages of our two websites. From any, any website, go to Site, and then Pages. Here's a list of all the pages we have on, on our website, and here we can see on which website they are shown. You can switch in the filter um, between Website, so we can see pages specific to each website. Note that the blank fields, here and here, uh, are pages that are shown on both websites. If you want to modify the website they are published on, all we have to do is tick the checkbox next to a page. For example, I want to modify the About Us page. And then we can click on the value over here, and on little arrow, and here we can select on which website it is, needs to be published. In my case, I'd like this page to be common to both websites, 
as the content of the About Us page doesn't change whether the visitors are looking for Belgian travel advice or Dutch one. So what I'll do is I'll just hit Backspace and I'll leave the field blank, which means the page will be shown on both websites. And that's it for this video. As you can see, whether you're running multiple brands or targeting different geographic markets, Odoo provides the tools used to streamline your operations and improve your digital strategy. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Bye bye.